Hey everybody, my name is Shane and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited. My husband and I are attending a company Christmas party tonight. I really, really, really look forward to this party every single year. We get to get really dressed up and have such a great time with friends. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. So today I am gonna show you how I got this makeup look, kind of do a full get ready with me. I did do my hair, however, I just ended up curling it um, with I think a one and a half inch curling iron from Conair and I threw in my extensions as well to add a little more volume and a little more length so if you want to see how I got today's look then please keep watching good morning everybody so I have a gnarly headache this morning I don't know why I woke up with one but I do apologize if I seem a little bit like oh like a little low energy at the beginning of the video at least I just woke up like I said I have this headache but I am actually really, really, really excited to film um, my get ready with me today. So I have been mentioning a holiday party uh, for the company my husband works for for a long time. So today we are getting ready. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on my earrings here. I got these from Forever 21. I just wanted something kind of long and dangly because I will be doing my hair um, down and curly and stuff. So. You will be able to see him a little bit, but I do have a couple of gnarly breakouts this morning too that will be fun to cover, but we'll, we'll do our best. First things first, we're going to go ahead and prep our skin using the Monistat Primer. I do have to make a really quick trip and run out to the store as soon as I finish my makeup because I really meant to grab, um, get a hold of a setting spray. I gotta be really careful down here because this one's like a cut so I do want to set my makeup when I'm done so of course it'll stay all night that will not be shown in this video simply I, I ran out of time to grab it yesterday I do apologize for that but keep in mind that I'm gonna want to set all of this at the end I am going to I'm wearing like this sweatshirt but it's one of those ones with these this collar so I'm actually going to just Remove the collar so I don't get a ton of makeup on it later or it gets in the way because I want to extend the makeup down my neck. So because today is going to be a very glamorous, um, you know, I really want my makeup to look good and to stay good. Uh, for foundation, I am going to use a little bit of my uh, CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir, but I'm mostly going to use my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. This is going to give it just a little bit of extra coverage. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I actually think I'm running out, so yeah, I may have to twist off the cap a little bit. Still a ton of product in there. I don't know if maybe this is just clogged, but there's still a lot in there. And then you want to shake up this NARS one because it is a little bit liquidy. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand right over that healthy elixir one. I'm going to mix the two together. And then we will go ahead and blend this in. Gosh, this headache is like getting to me. I'm sorry. I should have maybe taken like an ibuprofen or something, but probably doesn't help that I'm wicked hungry too. <laughs> so, so we're gonna we're gonna get through this tutorial um, as best as we can. We may have to stop for a snack maybe midway through because my tummy's now rumbling. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Thank God that at least covered most of it. We will go over a little bit with concealer as well, but <clears throat> I was kind of afraid of that blemish actually showing. Actually, believe it or not, today is not the... When you're seeing this, the party already happened. Um, today, where I'm sitting down filming, is not the party day. I just wanted to film the tutorial a couple days in advance. So that way when I actually go and sit down and redo this entire look that I'm showing you guys today in a couple of days, hopefully this blemish will be down a little bit more. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to put some um, spot treatment on it each night. You know, of course, make sure I'm washing my face, which I've actually been doing pretty well on at night. I woke up this morning with no makeup. Uh, that was a plus. That was awesome. So I'm just going to kind of baby these blemishes until the actual party but today I am doing literally as if I'm getting ready for the party uh, that is what I'm doing today so I'm not gonna just skimp out just because I'm not actually going tonight so no worries just make sure you blend everything down to your neck and then my ears are not really gonna be shown but I do want to go over them just a little bit with this foundation going in with concealer using my select cover-up I'm actually running out of this stuff Woo! 
hello while I just wasted. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to restock on this stuff pretty soon. But I'm going to add a little bit extra in my problem areas and then conceal the rest of my face. Once my concealer is all blended, I'm going to go into my Anastasia uh, foundation stick in shadow and just start contouring my face. So I'm adding a little bit of this cream a little bit higher on my cheekbones because I'm going to blend down right really at my hairline because I don't really have a super big forehead and I am going to soften up my jawline a little bit using this stick and I'm going to go as far as to fix my nose so I'm going to make an illusion that it's straighter by adding two lines pretty close together and then to make my nose look a little more upturned I'm adding a little bit on the bottom as well. I'm going to first start buffing this out using my Sephora Pro Contour Brush number 77 and then once this is all blended out I'm going to go over it with the Beauty Blender just to soften up any harsh lines that might still remain. I want to use a really light hand when using this brush. I'm not really dragging. I'm more so like patting and swiping at the same time because I haven't set my foundation or my concealer it can still move so you just want to be really really gentle with this part luckily this Anastasia product blends really easily so you really don't have to put in a lot of effort on your end now that your concealer has had a moment to dry while you're worrying about the contour hello got my nose now that my cream products have had a moment to dry I'm gonna set my concealer using my airspun face loose powder and using my damp beauty blender I'm just going to pack this on underneath my eyes pretty much everywhere where I applied concealer I'm gonna go ahead and let the powder set on my skin and I'm gonna fill in my brows I always leave a brow tutorial down below although I think I was using the pomade in that video or maybe my Anastasia brow wiz the only difference of that video is I'm now using the L'Oreal brow stylist definer which is a great drugstore brow product I've been loving recently so I'll see you guys in just a minute my brows are done so I'm gonna set them in a place using this elf brow gel and then I can go ahead and wipe away any of this excess powder still sitting on my face. Next we are moving on to the fun part. We're moving on to eyes. So I'm first going to take a little bit more of my concealer and I'm going to put a little bit just on my eyelids and then blend this out. Going into my Carly by Belle Deluxe palette, I'm going to take this shadow here and I'm going to just pack it all over my eyelid just to set the concealer into place. Doing this will also help any other color that we place on top blend out much easier. I'm going to keep the crease in the other V quite neutral. I'm just going to use a variety of different shades of brown from this palette. So the first one I'm going to pick up, you can tell it's much beloved. I'm going to pick it up on a fluffy brush and sweep it back and forth in my crease. I actually think I want a little bit of a fluffier brush, so I'm going to use this one from Anastasia. To further deepen up my crease, I'll be going into this fudgy chocolate brown down here. And I'm going to hike up my eyebrow and just sweep this right into that crease. And then going back into a fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend these two colors. I'm going to take that same fudgy dark brown and I'm going to pack this on my outer V as well. I don't really want this color to shift too much but I want those edges to be blended so I'm just flicking it inward. Then I'm going in with a kind of a fluffy flat shader. And I'm going to go into the dark brown right next to the other one that we used. And I'm not really going to sweep this color, I'm just going to kind of pack it on the outer third of my crease little bit into that outer V as well. Then using a soft pencil brush, I'm just going to soften that color just a little bit. Taking a moment just to wipe away any fallout. We're really not getting a lot. It's just a couple of little specks. Next, we're moving on to the fun part. So we're going to add a little bit of glitter and pigment on our eyelid. Now I'm going to show you my shoe really quick because this was kind of the, the goal I was trying to get. It is quite 
um, like a pinky gold, like a rose gold. So what I want to do, I'm going to take this pigment from NYX. This is in Oro. It's in this shade called Oro. And then I have a NYX Glitter uh, Brilliance pigment in 05. I don't know if it actually has a color, but it's like a greenish gold. So I'm going to mix these two together. I'm actually going to use the cap of my foundation. Now, of course, if you can find a rose gold glitter, good for you. <laughs> I could not find one anywhere. So I'm just going to tap a little bit out of each on this cap and then just using a clean brush, I'm just going to mix the glitter and the pigment together. Whoops. Okay, we might have to add a little bit more glitter later on, but let's get this on our eyes and then we'll see what we're working with. So to make the glitter adhere to our skin, we're gonna be using the NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Although it does dry fairly quickly, you do have a little bit of play time. So I'm gonna take a clean flat shader brush and then I'm going to put this all over my lid. I'm gonna go over any shadow that fell onto my lid and I'm not really gonna do a cut crease. Like I don't want the edge to be that sharp, but that's kind of the idea of how I'm applying the, um, the, the primer here. But I am gonna put it all over my lid. I'm just gonna get a pretty good layer of this going on and I'm gonna bring it right up to that outer V there. And then using the same brush, I'm just going to dip it right into the pigment and the glitter, tap off any excess so it doesn't fall all over your cheeks. And we're just going to go ahead and start packing this on. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, allow them to completely dry, and then I'll bring you right back. Next, I'm going to go back into the pigment just by itself. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this and pre pretty much go right around and over that glitter. And this glitter wipes away really easily too. So if you're worried about doing your face makeup before the glitter, I mean, test your glitter out. Make sure that it will wipe away because some glitters will literally stick there all day. So that's why I did my face before my eyes because I wasn't too worried about it. Next, I took it a step further and used my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil to uh, put it on my waterline and a little bit underneath my lash line. I'm gonna go over it now with the scandalized called uh, <laughs> I think it was something, something be bulletproof beige number two. Then taking a denser pencil brush, I'm going to go back into this original shadow that we used and I'm going to sweep it back and forth on my lower lash line. I'm going to connect it to my outer corner, but as I bring it in, I'm going to stop about where my eyelashes stop growing and I'm going to smoke this shadow out just a bit. So that way when we add more color, you're gonna see the layers. I'm sorry, my eyes are so tired. They keep watering, so I have to keep stopping. My eyes look might look really irritated. It's just when I first wake up and I start applying heavy makeup, it's like, ah, oh, my eyes are just like, no. Before we go any further, I'm gonna wanna find a inner corner highlight. So I do wanna keep it in the gold, the rose gold kind of theme. So still using our Car Carly Bell palette here, I think I'm actually gonna take a combination of this white one and then this nice gold shadow up here because I just want it again to be you know much brighter than the rest of my eye so adding that white is gonna help also where we didn't apply any shadow on the lower lash line I'm gonna pack this there as well then taking that same brown shadow this time on an angled brush I'm gonna kind of squeeze the brush together so I get a finer brush and I'm gonna create a point on my inner corner and that's gonna make my eyes look bigger kind of making a line right underneath that highlight that we placed and then using that pencil brush I'm just gonna use this to help soften up that line a little bit for our last eyeshadow I'm gonna go into the pigment one more time on this pencil brush and then I'm gonna sweep this right up against my eyelashes so starting woo, starting from the outer corner I'm just dragging it across my lashes and then again, stopping where about my eyelashes stop. Whew, one of the most stressful parts is over and I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna line my eyes using my Hard Candies liquid liner. Of course I'm doing a wing, why wouldn't I? <laughs> I just feel like I do it with everything. I love the way it looks, I can't help it. I'm trying to keep the, the band quite thin, quite close to my lashes because I really want that glitter to be showcased. Did I say that I was done with the eyeshadow? Because I lied. <laughs> I do want a little bit of brow bone highlight, so I think I'm gonna just take 
maybe a little bit of this white and then just dilute it a little bit with this base color that we used. And I'm just gonna sweep it underneath my brow bone. And I think I just wanna add a touch bit more depth to my eyes. The glitter is just so bam in your face. I feel like I just need a little bit more. Oh my gosh, it's impossible to actually find a black shadow. Okay, in my Naked 2 palette, um, I have Blackout. Excuse this palette, it's clearly loved. I'm gonna wipe off one of my brushes here and I'm just going to pack a little bit of black in that outer V. I want to be so careful. Working with black is so tricky sometimes and it can really ruin your look so just make sure that if you put your eyeliner on first that it is dry so you don't start smudging it everywhere and I'm just going to start by first kind of stippling this color and then slowly but surely we are gonna buff this in. I'm gonna buff it in a little bit this way onto our lid. And then once I have the color placed, I'm gonna further go ahead and blend this out so it's not harsh. I think I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of those brown shadows as well, just to kind of buff out the edge of this black. Might need a little more work, so I'm just gonna continue to blend this out until I'm totally happy with it. I'm happy with the way it came out. I feel like it added a little more depth and kind of made the look look a little more glamorous. I just really feel like it pulled the eyeshadows together. So now we're gonna move on. I am going to add two coats of mascara. If I can find it. Oh, where, oh, where has my mascara gone? Oh, where, oh, where can you be? I have little lashes that really need your help. Oh, where, oh, where could you be? So one day that I can't find my mascara. Legitimately. Um, okay. Might be a problem because I think that's the only one that I currently have. I might have one lingering in my makeup collection. Let me take a look. I'm at a loss. I, I, <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. I've been looking up and down. That is so weird. Has this something just... Well, you know what? This is why I pre-record because... Now I know I need mascara before the actual party. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to skip that part, which is kind of a big part, but <laughs> luckily we have lashes. So I would normally put mascara on my bottom lashes, but I can't. Well, anyways, moving on. I have these Ardell uh, Faux Lumi, Faux Mink lashes that I wanna give a try. These are number uh, 810. They're a little bit fuller, than the usual lashes that I use, so I thought they looked a little more glamorous, so we're gonna give them a try. I'm also running out of my duo lash glue, so when I'm out shopping for mascara, I know what else I need to pick up. These are actually not very um, long lengthwise, so I'm gonna hold them up to my eye really quick to get an idea of what they would look like on. I don't know if I'm gonna like them. Wow, these are a lot shorter than I thought they were. <laughs> well, we're experimenting. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try taking a pair of my Salon Perfects here and overlay them over the faux, mix, faux minx ones and uh, see what we come up with. Oh, these minx ones are really long. Like, I never, ever, ever cut down my lashes, but these ones are even longer than my Salon Perfect ones, so... Now I need scissors. You just feel like me now. Hey, no my All right, so I laid down my Salon Perfect over these minx ones, and they're definitely now longer. They look fuller because of the minx ones, so... I think I'll be happy with that. So I'm gonna do that, the exact same thing with that other pair. Stomach, you need to stop yelling at me. I'll get to you when I get to you. So they're pretty. My only concern is the band just seems so thick and it may just end up being uncomfortable. With brand new lashes, I try to take extra care with them because <clears throat> they tend to fall off a little bit easier than when you reuse them. So I'm just kind of bending them so they'll shape to my eye. And I really want to make sure these get tacky. Especially without mascara, I don't know how well they're going to stick on. And I'm afraid that my real, lash real lashes are going to show because they're not covered in black. Let's try our luck at popping these lashes on. I'm just going to take some extra care 
at putting these lashes down. Again, because they're brand new, they tend to lift a little bit easier than reused ones. But the band is so thick. I'm totally out of focus. I can definitely feel these on my eyes. Like they don't feel as um, lightweight as just the Salon Perfect ones, but I do like the fullness. Just adding a tiny bit more glue on those inner corners. They can really be stubborn sometimes. Oh, I'm getting so frustrated, so frustrated. This is turning into a freaking nightmare. So <laughs> I had to take this eyelash off. It was still too long, so I went downstairs to get some proper scissors to trim these down. I'm just having a hard time with this left eye. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let that lash sit for a few minutes. I know I look crazy because I only have one falsy on, um, but we're gonna go ahead and bronze up our face. I'm using uh, Becca's Capri Coast Sunlit Bronzer. I will, I am gonna run out to the drugstore um, as soon as I'm done filming with you guys and get some mascara so I can finish up the look with you um, So by the end of it, <laughs> we'll have some mascara on my face But I'm going to use a brush and this is also gonna set the cream contour that we put down at the beginning of our makeup But just using these circular motions. I'm just going to start placing this bronzer and really bronzing up the face and adding some color my headache it's not going away. I think it's only getting worse. <laughs> I'm about to have an aneurysm with what's going on with it. It's like when I sit down to finally film my makeup, nothing wants to go right, but I can do it for days perfectly off camera. All right, once I have my face bronzed up, I'm gonna go in with a clean kabuki brush and just go over those areas just to kind of soften the color a little bit. This eyelash should be okay, so let me pop this on again good heaven lord almighty heaven gods help me that is on now my eyes are technically almost done <laughs> the only thing missing is the mascara which your girl can't do right now so it will pull together even more at the end but i'm gonna find a blush i think i'm just gonna use a little bit of luminoso from milani here which is a baked like peach blush but i'm gonna add a very very subtle hint of color because I don't really want super bright cheeks. I think that is good. Then for highlight, I think I'll go back into the Carly Bybell palette and pick up this gold here. And we'll start with this shade and see how I like it. You know what, I actually like it for this look. I thought I was gonna add something to it, but I think this will actually be good. I also just quickly went over my lash band. You're definitely gonna wanna go over your lash band if you're using the Ardell lashes. You could really kinda tell that they were falsies. And of course, I don't expect anybody to think that these are my real lashes, but if I'm looking at them and I look down, I don't want it to be like an obvious line. So going over the lash band kinda camouflages it a little bit. God, what do we do for lips? Lord help me, I don't know. So I need to figure out my lip situation and I don't, I haven't got a damn clue what I want to do. <laughs> there are so many things that we could do. I don't know if I want to keep it super neutral. I don't know if I maybe want to do... Uh, not like... I don't think I'd want to do a brown lip. I think I might want to keep it neutral because the eyes are so glamorous that we might just want to keep the attention drawn to the eyes and not so much the lips. So I'm going to go over my lips a little bit with some foundation just to get rid of that natural pinky color that I have. We're gonna do a tiny bit of experimenting, so please bear with me. We have a couple different colors here. We have Lace Detail, and we have Baby Doll. We have Bedtime Flirt, which I think might be a little bit, maybe too pink. So let me try Lace Detail and Baby Doll. Lace Detail is like this neutral, kind of pink, so I think we might just go in with Baby Doll, and I'm almost out of this stuff too. Let's try it. Oh, this one's really pink too. Okay, not exactly what I was looking for. Do I wanna do like a brown? This one might be pretty, let's try this. Okay, so I certainly think it's pretty. It's definitely, you know, darker than what I was originally going for. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish up 
um, you know, do my hair, do put on my outfit, put everything on, and then see how I feel about it. Um, and then when I come back to you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a little bit of time. I'm gonna run out to the store, grab some mascara, um, look at maybe some different lip options. So when I come back, it this might look slightly different, but of course, you know, the face, the eyes, those really are not gonna move. Just so you know, for my hair, I'm just gonna curl it using a Con Air uh, curling iron, and then I do have my Bellamy extensions which I've already curled and pinned so I'm just gonna curl the rest of my hair and I'll see you guys in a little bit when I feel a little more organized <laughs> okay guys so I did go out and I got a new mascara I ended up getting the L'Oreal telescopic I really love that mascara so I ended up just buying a brand new tube I also ended up changing the lip I think it was really really pretty but it was just too dark for what I was going for so I actually ended up picking up a new cap on D everlasting Li Li liquid lipstick in the color called Ophelia and that is what I have on my lips right now so that completes the makeup so let's move on to the other stuff I'm not wearing the shoes right now I'm not leaving for a couple of hours and they're not the most comfortable things in the world so I am gonna just show you them off of me I hope you don't mind that um, but I ended up getting them from Windsor and this was kind of my inspiration for today's look so they're like these rose gold almost gladiator sandals um, you'll see my dress it has a slit in it so I was hoping um, that these shoes would really stand out because my shoes were kind of the uh, focal point of my outfit at least I think so um, I want to keep my accessories really really simple I did end up purchasing um, these kiss nails and gluing them on so that's what these are so they have kind of that rose gold accent to kind of go with um, my makeup and my, the rest of my outfit for earrings I ended up actually getting these at uh, forever 21 so they're these like crystal earrings and then they have this long gold tassel piece so my hair does cover up a lot of it some of my hair maybe behind my ear or something um, you could see them maybe just a little bit better and then I did go ahead and just throw on a simple gold bangle again I just want to kind of keep the jewelry uh, relatively simple so I'm really hoping that my dress will kind of show up I'll step closer in just a minute to show you the detail but it's just this black um, it kind of crisscrosses in the front here it has tank tops and it's it's really really quite long as you can see the dress actually does come a little bit shorter but with my heels it certainly hikes it up a little bit so I won't be tripping over my dress um, but we do have the slit here which comes up about mid thigh maybe a tiny bit higher hopefully at this angle maybe you'll be able to see the detail a little bit easier it is a very simple dress I just want you to be able to see the crisscross pattern um, in the front and then the back does have just a gold zipper but I got it in a small and I got this dress from Windsor as well so the same place that I got the shoes so that was everything from my hair to my makeup to my outfit I hope you guys really enjoyed I'm sorry that I don't really get to show you guys makeup and hair all in one video it's not that I don't want to record the process and show you exactly how I do it it's literally about space <laughs> my batteries only hold so much charge before like I have three batteries but for some reason two of them don't hold charges and my MacBook Air really doesn't hold that much uh, footage space so it would be I don't even think it might be possible for me to do like a full get ready with me with my hair and my makeup included but I thought the makeup was probably the most important part and then just kind of tell you how I got the hair I hope you guys don't mind and I hope you enjoyed regardless if you did please go ahead and throw a thumbs up on my video and if you don't want to miss any new videos please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss anything new so hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one bye